Hello and welcome to Sports Update on Breakfast Central. I am Udoka Njoku. A Kenya Volleyball Federation men's league side Trailblazers have pulled out of the Africa Club Championships set for the 8th to the 21st of May in Tunis, Tunisia, due to financial constraints. Trailblazers withdrawal leads champions Kenya Port Authority as the country's only representative at the upcoming Continental Showpiece. Trailblazers had been invited to the competition after the league champions GSU withdrew due to unavoidable circumstances. Now Trailblazers finished third in the league after recording a resounding 3-0 win in the playoff played in August 2022. And to rugby now, news media in Uganda earlier on Monday announced the retirement of former rugby cranes captain Michael Walkerach from international rug rugby. In an exclusive chat with New Central, Walkers revealed it is time for him to let others lead while he follows for one more year. He also said he has not retired and that the media got the message wrong. The 32-year-old captain, uh, he captained the team at several major competitions like the Commonwealth Games, the Challenger Series, two Rugby World Cup 7 events, and the annual Rugby Africa Men's Sevens. So for Walker he has said that the media got the story wrong and he has not retired yet. It is just a bit of change of management. And straight to England, let's talk about Arsenal as manager Mikel Arteta has insisted his side are still contenders for the Premier League title, despite slipping to the second position at the weekend. Arteta's men were replaced at the summit by Manchester City following their 2-1 win at Fulham on Sunday. Now City lead the Gunners by a point with a game in hand after winning eight successive league matches as they eye the fifth title in six years. Arsenal are assured of a return to Champions League football after a six-season absence from Europe's leading club competition. But then, manager Mikel Arteta stressed that the Gunners are not satisfied with that achievement alone. And for Arteta, he now wants Arsenal, beaten 4-1 by City last week, to stage a revival when they, when they face London rivals Chelsea at the Emirates on Tuesday. Now let's listen to uh, Mikel Arteta. I mean, he said a whole lot about that game. I'm looking forward to the one against uh, Chelsea. But let's look at the game that went down uh, yesterday. Leicester City taking on Everton. It ended in a 2 all draw with Nigeria international Alex Iwobi getting the equaliser for, uh, Leicester, uh, for Everton after missing a couple of chances uh, earlier in that game. So for Leicester, they are still around the relegation zone. But of course, if they get to win the remainder of their games, they will survive the relegated from the EPL this season. And uh, we told you earlier, today Arsenal will take on Chelsea at the Emirates, hoping that they can actually bounce back from the losses and dropping of points uh, in four successive games. All right, uh, Ukrainian athletes will boycott this month's World Judo Championships in Qatar over concerns about Russian and Belarusian participation. The International Judo Federation decided to allow athletes from Russia and Belarus to compete as neutrals. The decision will allow judokas from those countries to participate in qualifying for the 2024 Olympic Games. Last month, the International Olympic Committee said Russian and Belarusian athletes are allowed to compete under a neutral flag, but then it has yet to make a decision on Paris 2024. Now, the International Olympic Organizing Committee also recommended athletes and the support personnel who actively support the war in Ukraine or who are contracted to the military should not be permitted to compete. The Ukrainian Judo Federation alleged that a number of Russian judoka are registered for the World Judo Championships, which takes place between the 7th and the 14th of May, are active servicemen. But the IJF said it has enlisted an independent company to perform background checks on Russian and Belarusian athletes with specific reference to possible war propaganda wrapping up with basketball this morning talking about the nba playoffs philadelphia 76ers look like they are the team to beat of course they, they beat uh, the defeated boston celtics 119 to 115 points taking the semi-final series one nil while the other game saw Denver nuggets defeating the phoenix suns and uh, that game ended 97 to 87 points making it 2-0 in the series so a big one for the Philadelphia 76ers and Joel Embiid leading his team to yet again another victory.
And that's a wrap on the Sports Updates on Breakfast Central. I am Udoka Njoku.